So I guess we can start now. See how it Recording. goes. Yeah, we might as well start. We'll keep this chat somewhere. So last time, where did we leave off? Oh yeah, the plane crashed. Mm. Miraculously, all the survivors, no, wait, all passengers survived. Oh. All two of them. And judging by the way they're kind of spread out everywhere, there were no seat belts. Wake up, Steve. How is the audio chat? We're still alive. Yeah, I think like your volume levels is all right, but like just the general quality isn't quite as good, which is a shame. Mm. I'll just have to talk extra crisp. Can you do that? <laughs> ne next time I ch I'll just try streaming with uh, OBS Thanks. and see if the audio quality there is better. Also, this is still the stupidest scene. I don't know. Yes, it is. It's like, I don't know. It seems like... I'm just not really feeling this subtle oh. romance between... No. Between Steve it's and Claire. It's just... Let's split up and commendable effort, but... <laughs> right. They tried. Okay. That's Let's the important bit. Okay, so now we have control. And uh, I'm still f kinda hurt from the previous battle. Fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, but what with all the testing, you've done this early bit, like not that far in, but you've done a little way in, so you know yeah, more I or know less where you're going. Yeah, I know to do, yeah, so... I'm just hoping it doesn't crash horribly. Because I'm, I'm, I've, I've burnt a backup, this is running off a CDR, so this should, shouldn't have any of the problems that the GD-ROM was having. In theory. In theory. In theory. Again, I'm still not sure why the other disc 2 didn't work at all, because the... It should work. It's like, uh, look, there's, there's minor scratches that shouldn't prevent it from, like, working. I can't open this, right? They're What's this? The cage. Oh, the door, no. And everything's dark because there's no power. Well, you should go turn on the power then. I guess I'll start then. trying to do that. <laughs> You're in an Antarctic base and you have to try and escape. And turning on the power, I guess, is kind of important. Mm hmm. Because then you can turn on all the lights and then leave them on when you leave. <laughs> Just be a jerk. Successfully picked up the ink ribbons, that's a good sign. Yes. And there's another door here, but it's locked, so I'm not going to go over there. I haven't I haven't seen what's on the Steam sales at the moment, is it? Is Payday on there yet? No. God. Uh, the Steam sales have been like alright, but I've not really been interested in anything that's going on in mm. it. Have a quick look now. There's Counter-Strike Please Go, Darksiders 2, Age of Empires, Sleepy Dog. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's ammo here, but it won't... Only useless books. Only useless... Okay, there it is. I was in slightly the wrong position. I do like that camera angle, though. Yeah. It's pretty obvious, but... It's just nice and foreboding, like you know it's yeah. going to happen. Sonic 
course, Stars Racing is half off. Well, I've already got it. Oh no, zombies! What are you going to do against this zombie menace? Same thing I always do. Oh, whoops. Get eaten. <laughs> it is a common occurrence. Are you in danger? Yes, I am on danger. I should use a healing. Probably should. <laughs> I'm going to hold off on that for now. Be sure it's wise. Well, because I've played this part hundreds of times while testing it, oh, I yes. know that there is a save room just ahead. But first, let's look at this guy. And the monster might have been the killer. I think Claire would make a good detective. Maybe. Okay, so this is the save room. And I figured, since I have about 500 green herbs, I might as well just use those, instead of, like, using my full hurt heals. Yeah, I think, like, using herbs gives you, like, a better score, I think, compared to using, a, a score? like, first aid sprays. Like, yeah. ranking in the end. Hmm. I, I don't know, it may be like a different game. I don't know whether this one counts as well. Generally, combining herbs is better for rank. Oh, combining herbs is better? Well, I mean, just generally not using first aid sprays. Oh, I see. So, like, the less times you heal in general. Is that what you mean, or...? I think I think it is just as simple as not using first aid sprays. I, okay. I don't actually know. It may only be like the very first game, and then they sort of stopped doing that. I just recall that being a thing. Mm -hmm. Finding herbs and using those instead was was just generally better. We've got some pro inventory management here. Mhm. Mm and here's a memo from our good friend Alexander. Uh, T virus. Alexander is uh, Alfred's dad, right? Yes. He's the not insane one. He wasn't very insane, no. Yeah, cause... I'd, well, I've never met him, but. Well, whatever. I'm sure there was no real important information there. No, he just liked his family, and wanted to stop messing up. He oh, tried his damnedest. He tried. I guess I don't need the explodey arrows at the moment. No. I'll just keep them in the box then. I maybe I can put away my grenade launchers. I mean, there's not that much use for like the explodey arrows in general anymore, so you can just like use them as things to kill zombies with if you wanted. Mm -hmm. Oops, I'm trying to combine bullets with herbs. Wouldn't that just like heal all the zombies? <laughs> healing bullets. Hey, if, if Killing Floor can do it, and Borderlands can do it, then so can Resident Evil. I, that's some logic, I guess. And some more herbs here, I guess I... Also, I haven't bothered seeing what's behind this bookshelf yet, so I'm going to go do that now. Oh, it's just... A, oh! It's a mouse. Have you seen that mouse before? No. Uh, have I? I don't know. I'm asking you. Butler's letter. Dear Alfred... I thought I should just kill myself. <laughs> Whatever. There's a switch. Okay. You gonna push it? No, uh, it doesn't do anything. No. Yeah, I haven't actually been there because I wanted to save that so that when until I actually started playing seriously. Yes. Yes, you need to turn on that power. Hang on. 
Uh, might have to stop in a bit, actually. <laughs> yep, my mum just gonna hang on. Um, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna pause it, and I'm going to be right back in a few minutes. So I'll I'll keep the chat entertained, I okay, guess. Okay, hang on a second. Hello. What up? Has everyone left yet? I don't know. I guess I will announce. I am back, everyone. If anyone cares. I guess I'll get Anyone's rid of this. Everyone's still awake. Just let me... Your account still says 10, but I don't know how accurate that is. Does it say 10? What does it say for me? I can't even... Like on the page to me. Uh, it says 9 to me, so I have no idea how accurate that is. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this whiteboard. 9 and a half, then. <laughs> 9 and a half average. average. Okay. <sighs> okay, so... I guess, I guess the stream's still running. Yeah, it's been on the whole time. Yeah, no, I'll just... Okay. Let's hope we don't get more any... Well, any more commercial thingies. Uh, I'm assuming I they're pressed just going the to push the button. I pressed the button, yeah, for that. Well, what what happened when I pressed it? Because for me, when I look at it, I guess because I have adblock on, I don't see anything. When you left, uh, oh, yeah. it went black for a bit, and then came back on, and then like the sound was back on. So I guess it just refreshed a little bit. And yeah, I have adblock too. So... <laughs> I think it was all there. Uh, I'll say anyone who out. doesn't have adblock, this gets a shitload of adverts. It seems so. It's a bit of a weird way of doing it. A little bit. Uh. Right. So. What was I doing? Right, I've emptied out my inventory, so I'm ready to continue the adventure. Actually, hang on. Uh, I think there was someone on Steam. Fortunately, the place isn't actually that big to begin with, so exploring it shouldn't be too difficult. So Claire's looking at something here. Yep, Claire looks at, like, at a lot of things. Oh no, it is a moth! And this is eating a guy or something. No. I'm just going to ignore the moth because he scares me. Moths are literally the worst thing. They are. They just kind of flutter about like idiots. If anyone in chat like, likes moth, then you're just wrong. It's like super wrong. I'm surprised you still remember that, the whole tea incident. It was quite an incident. It was. Oh. Hopefully this this shouldn't be an incident because baby zombies. I'm sure you can take baby zombies, right? No. All right. What? <laughs> it just did a 360 instead of 180. I'll just use a gun like a normal person. Maybe you should. There's too much of the scrub. Shooting the floor, shooting all the way into the air. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have about 200 bullets, so why the hell not? Yeah. I like how I mean, all of them have like hats that just fall. Wow, he, he fell in a funny position. I was hoping you'd die like that. No fun allowed. But yeah, I mean, you get some new weapons soon anyway. A BOW room? What could be in there? Gee, I fucking wonder. <laughs> and it turns out it's fucking spiders. 
So there's a gas mask. Do you reckon you'll need that? In the I presume future? I will. Why does they poison you, do they? Uh, probably not. They bite your neck and everything. Yeah, they hurt, but I don't know if they actually... Oh, and they spray acid as well. But... Yeah. I think there's one, like, underneath, isn't there? Yeah. He just... stays, sprays acid at you as well. It's kind of annoying. Well, he can stay there. A barcode sticker. Probably important. Mm -hmm. Not really sure why you're picking it up there. Not like me like being weird, unsure. Yeah, it just, yeah, it's just it like seems like a weird items. thing to pick out among like the stuff that's. Yeah. It's like your goal is to turn the power on. It just mm -hmm. it is, is. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> turn the power on. Yeah, pretty easy. Oh. It's kind of weird how it does that. It's like, why not just make a bigger stack? Yeah, I don't... I don't understand. We'll just have, like, two of them or something. I don't know. I can hear the spider trying to spray acid at me, so I guess now's a good time to get out. Not much you can do about them, I think. No. I mean... Do you... I guess you don't, like, ever go to the room underneath where the spider is? No. It's just like a little under-the-floor grating kind of area. Yeah. You didn't really achieve much, I guess, except for getting ammo and that barcode sticker, which we're not really sure what it's for yet. No. I think this is roughly where I got up to. Before I... Mm -hmm. Oh, and the camera changed to signify something important in that box. Just... just a box. Just a box. Just a box. It's a more interesting, like, door name. What was it? What was it? Just weapons. You're not getting hit, I'm amazed. Hooray. Sparkly. And so Steve's just, like, buggered off somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, again. Oh. I mean, I'm sure he's doing something, like, important, but, like, entirely different rooms than you're in at any given time. Uh -huh. For some reason, it's not working as well as it did. Yeah, you're doing fine. As long as you don't run out of healing. If you're not doing fine, just... <laughs> <laughs> and just use the gun. Danger already. Missiles! I wonder what they plan to use them for. Explosives are set, but the detonator's missing. And there's, there's the detonator right there. That was easy. <laughs> it's like a two-foot fetch quest. Right, explosive is heat sensitive. Hmm, I wonder what you could have had uh, made heat. Would the lighter have worked? Yes. Oh. So... What a shame. So there's literally nothing I can do you it away. <laughs> you can open up one of those lockers, I think. Uh, not, not the big one, but... Mm. One of the other ones. Is that a little one? Oh. Hey, a gun. I didn't even realise they were lockers. Hereafter, really. It's kind of slidey lockers, yeah. So, for this one, where the explosives are, I can't actually open them. No. What a jump! Yep. <laughs> what a shame. 
Sh should I Don't ask? You'd have a key. Should I ask what's in the locker that I can never open ever? Can't remember. Oh. <laughs> it's not vital. No, I'm pretty I sure. assume it's not. But it's I don't know. It's probably just ammo for something. What, what key was it? I forget. Mining room. Where was the mining room? I've forgotten. Uh, I think it's just like the other door in this area. Oh yeah, I remember it's the upstairs. It's over here. Oh, some machinery. But there's no power. Nope. Anti-BOW gas. Guess that will go somewhere. Well, the entire place is like a postage sorting thing. I don't mm -hmm. know why it needs one, because the place is kind of small. I'm assuming it does like go to other areas you can't get to. I guess it's like the big shell. It doesn't seem like the kind of place that needs a sorting facility. No. They have one there. Yeah. But you picked up the barcode in that one room. Mm -hmm. So maybe the barcode means something to do with that room? Maybe. Now this room looks like it'd be quite cold, compared to all the other ones. Yeah, you are in the Antarctic. There's a hole shaped like an octagon. <laughs> There's a lot of warnings about poison gas, so sh should I be worried at some point? Nah. Okay. Just because there's a box of anti-BOW gas, and there's warnings about poison gas, and there's a gas mask in that one room, you don't have to be worried at all. I should hope not. It's fine. All you really have to be worried about are all the zombies. Yeah, I suppose. Might as well. Now I've only got one slot. A dog! Oh my god. Thank you for auto-aim because I could barely see it. Yes. <laughs> it's hiding around the corner. Oh, more herbs. There's a lot of herbs around here. It's it's probably best to like, well, you can't pick them up right now. After you've like finished with this room, there's not like, any reason to go back in, so you should take them out when you get the chance. Wait, did I? I was already fine. For some reason I thought I was... No, oh, well, whatever. Well, now you're super fine. <laughs> Double fine? Yeah. Just you to mean like the Tim Shaker arrows. company? That's the joke. Yes, arrows. Now we have actual power, so presumably I'll be able to do more things around here. Be stuck on the walls. I was trying to figure, trying to figure out how to get out here. Store power to the power and then turn it back on. Oh, there's ammo. Couldn't see it without the lights on. The main inventory is looking pretty full. Combine your arrows. I will. now do things. Just making sure I haven't missed anything in this room. Aside from uh, more herbs. There's a lot of herbs, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Shall I just like take all the herbs and combine them to like if you green want. herbs? Up to you. I mean there aren't enough red herbs for like every green herb. That's what I was thinking. 
But that's kind of why I keep hoarding, hoarding green herbs. But eventually I just kind of realised, you know, it's probably... Yeah, <laughs> you want to combine them to like, make a big one, then you can go for it. I'll take one more, why not? I wasn't expecting to pick up a rifle. Should I be saving this rifle for some super duper enemy at some point? Well, that like, assault rifle? No, it, it's it's not that powerful, but it's got like a lot of sustained fire, so you can no, so it's just got, like... shoot things a lot. It's got lots of ammo as well. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of thing you bring it instead of the pistol and some ammo, if along with another gun maybe, if you just want something to shoot basic enemies. I see. So I'd say like either keep your pistol and bullets and put the assault rifle away, or do the opposite. I Probably gotcha. the best plan. Not sure what you're expecting to do up there. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought maybe... Now pa power's on, that means poison gas, but no. Man, I told you about that gas, you don't have to worry, man. Okay. Just don't worry. Less worrying, more shooting zombies. <laughs> Now the power's on, I can try out the sorting machine. Yes, you can fuck around with that. I mean, all you've really got is one box, which you can send somewhere. And away it goes. So that super special one is gone somewhere, I suppose. It's I'm sure you'll find it. Is this the one that I just sent? Yes. Oh. You have to do something to it to make sure it I gets somewhere. I think I have an idea. Do you? I don't know why I'm sending it somewhere. Because <laughs> I don't... I know, it's great, isn't it? You get here and it's like, you're doing this, it's like, why am I doing this? Also, hello, Strazi. He said hello. Oh, is, the, is chat being used? Yeah, um, a bit. So oh yeah, still I just somewhere. missed the last few minutes ago. Uh, a few messages, rather. It's fine, I can see them now. So, presumably they've gone into the BOW room. Do I want to go back there? Yeah. Okay. Um, it would be nice to travel by cardboard box. The, the, the entire room's green, I assume this is bad. It's the anti-BOW gas you sent. Oh, so it's it's fine for me as a non-BOW. Fine, non don't worry about the gas, man. <laughs> it's fine. It's broken. <laughs> oh. Trouble is, though, it doesn't have to do a jack shit to the BOWs. Oh, so the spider underneath me is perfectly fine. It's fine. So what have I accomplished, aside from picking up a gas? Oh, I guess that's uh, it. Really. Yes, pretty much it, yeah. Pretty much it. There's two herbs on the floor there. You have noticed. Uh, oh yeah, you've had it. Are they... A blue herb. Hmm. What does this tell you? Well, presumably spiders might poison me. Or also maybe those moths as well. So the poison gas certainly won't. Oh, shit, I used it. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> I was smashing the A button trying to cancel that. You know what, it's not important. I'm sure poison gas can't be that dangerous. Fine. <laughs> so I've got a gas mask. I guess that is for something or another. I'm not sure what else I can do. Well, what else can you do? Let me think. You can go back to that early room, like where you picked up the ink ribbons. Oh yeah, it has a weird machine in it. That has some stuff in it. That uh, box you sent went to a mystery location, you can try and find that. That's true. With the sparkly warkly on it. No, no, moths. No, you don't. <laughs> I know what they do to me. <laughs> Just lay eggs in you and poison you. Can you prevent the poison? Uh, 
No, like wandering into its dust clouds is just like a, a random chance to get poison. I mean, like once you get laid. Can, once the egg hatches, you just mash the deep head. Okay. Before they hit you. You can't just like take it off when it's still on your back, even though you know it's there. Yeah, it's kind of... Well, I guess that kind of makes sense in that Claire can't reach around, but... If I can do it, Claire can do it. <laughs> or maybe Claire's really that stupid and just doesn't notice. Maybe. I guess now the power's on. Mystery one. I'll just leave him to it then. The plant pot. See, I really like this room just because it's really, really unsettling. It is, kinda. Got some occasional bugs. Guess that's it, really. I'll just leave him to it. Uh, what's the plant pot for, I wonder? Or oh, maybe you can grow some herbs. So I guess I could either keep the assault rifle or put away my guns. Mm-hmm. I'll give the rifle a try. I'd probably get rid of the bow gun as well. Or do you think I don't need it? You're not really using it. That's you you true, can use not. it if you want. It's a weapon option. I'll wait until I get more arrows, I suppose. I was hoping I could just add the crumpled herbs to the pot and see what happens. Maybe you should examine the pot. Maybe I should. That's I keep forgetting to do that. Ordinary plant pot. Oh. <laughs> machine room. Where's I like machine? how it wasn't actually hollow, it had like a texture of a hole on the top. Yeah, I... Is it supposed to be hollow? I just assumed it was full of like soil or something. Maybe. Either way, it wasn't very well represented. No. But that's fine. It's a Dreamcast game. Mm-hmm. Can't expect too much from a Dreamcast game. No, we've learned that. Hmm. Can I ever open this door? Maybe you need to get the halberd thingy. Oh, I guess that makes sense, actually. For some reason I didn't think they were connected, but... Well, why would you think that? <sighs> exactly. Uh, mm. <laughs> one's a cabinet and one's a hole in the wall. It's like... Well, <laughs> No, no, I'm being laid. Now, now there's nothing I can do about it. You did get kind of comboed there. <laughs> That's fucking pro-evo strategy. Do you remember to mash if you get out of a, a doorway or something, just in case? Do you know how quickly poison hurts you? Uh, not Wait, really, no. I only know to like, if you're poisoned, you should probably like, fix it as soon as you can, really. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't think it'll ever kill you, but it does just kind of be annoying. I think that's, from what I understand from like, the other games, at least, poison just kind of makes you go in like, super danger. Yeah. And doesn't kill you. Well, actually, no. Then you're getting nibbled. Resident Evil 1, like, it's scripted that you just kind of like, died, and then Barry saves you when you get bitten by the snake, but I guess that's snake poison. Oh yeah. That's script poison. Plot poison. Time to get rid of the key. Wait a 
waiting for that egg to hatch. Because it is taking its time. Wait, it's not there. Did you, did oh. you actually lay on me? Maybe it just... It just bit me instead of laying... <laughs> huh. For some reason I always thought it would just lay an egg on you no matter what. Oh well, I wouldn't, uh... Wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Claire! Ah, where would you come from? Like there's an Australian observation base about seven miles away from here. That should be our target. Great news. And take a look at that. It's a digging vehicle. If we break the wall with it, we might have a chance. Okay. Let's do it! Are they, they're gonna dig to Australia? Yep. <laughs> every second of this crane moving. It's important. Steve, watch out! <laughs> Steve! Oh, Steve. Steve! Come on! Well, I guess now we know where the poison gas is. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> Fortunately, you're well prepared. It's all my fault. Don't you don't know why you're well prepared, <laughs> or you didn't until that point. Now you know. Here. Together. Come on. We've got to shut off the gas. If we split up, we'll have a better chance of stopping it. Okay. Steve! Don't forget. We'll get out of here. Together. She's just saying that and then he'll ditch him the first moment she gets. Of course. I mean, Steve, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Looks like there's something on the corner of this, but it's just... Of what? Oh, on the end of the catwalk where it's broken, there's oh, like that little white thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I see that sometimes as well. Anyway, you've got the gas mask, so you can yeah. safely explore the poison area, like the room you were just in. Another blue herb that might well, has my inventory looking. Okay. I'll be fine, I might as well pick it up. Probably gonna uh, well you probably need some in general over the course of the game. Mm hmm So it's important to stock up. There are a lot of herbs in this area. Yes, there are. <laughs> They expect you to get hurt a lot or something? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I know the later areas of the game can be pretty tough. Hmm. Oh, there's bullets here that I missed out. Oh, the lights are on now, now you can see. That is quite handy. Are you just like waiting for that moment the zombie's gonna pop out there? I game? know he's gonna do it at some point. He's gonna do it at some point. Don't it's just a case of when. Well, presumably I need that, but... That, whatever that briefcase is. It's probably something important. Also, hey, there's actually music now. Because <laughs> the game was completely silent up to this point. Yep. Yeah. Turn on the power, turn on the ambience. Mm-hmm. Oh, I should probably... Go. Should I go back with the gas mask? Yeah. Yeah. You have to, really.
should I equip the gas mask before or after I enter? Nah, you just use the door. There's no equipped. Oh, anyway. I see. Okay. Also, it's like in Metal Gear Solid where it has to be like equipped. No. Just put in your item slot, and then whenever you want to eat a ration, you just kind of have to temporarily take it off, munch it, and then put it back on again. <laughs> well, if you're wearing a gas mask, you're not be able to eat anyway. Yeah. Or, or using the key cards, that was a stupid one. Yeah, that's why in two days I would have fixed that. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't just... Couldn't Steve just hold his breath through this room? It's just that one room, right? You... Oh, yeah, I... No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to, like, just test, you know, poison gas. I mean, I don't think any of the doors are really airtight anyway. They should be seeping out everywhere. That's true, I guess. Right, what did you pick up? Like a crank? Yeah, I assume that's for the s to seal off the gas in the other place. What's the shape of the uh, prong thing on it? I should probably check that because that was significant. Square. Oh no, what are you gonna do now? Presumably I'll cut it into a circle, uh, uh, oxagon shape. Using the metal cutter. Is that... You fumbled your words quite a bit there, but yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a kind of key event that happens in a room with a cage zombie. Yep. Wonder what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen once I actually use this and Can whatever. you guess, chat, what's going to happen? Can you possibly guess? That's oh, actually quite quick. <laughs> I'll handle well, let me in. I want to get that suitcase. I'm curious. You guessed absolutely fucking nothing. You were right. <laughs> well, the zombies downstairs have respawned. Yep. That's fun. All you really have to do is get to that one room with the uh the valve thing. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where that was. It's the the one the door up the little stairs, I'm pretty sure. Oh the machine room, yeah. First I'll save, because why not? Because I'm still paranoid this game's gonna like crash at a random point. Is that, is that why you want to save relatively re frequently? Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. Kind of annoying that I can't. I don't know why I combined all my ink ribbons. I should just take, keep them separate. Because I can just use one ink ribbon and then not have to it, go back yeah, to the box and put them nice away. To be able to just take one out, but yeah, it's not going to happen. If you put them in as separate entries of three, then every third save you wouldn't have to go put them away. But that's like a very minor sort of convenience. <laughs> Now is a good time to try out this rifle. Because now there's lots yes. of guys. Might as well. Oh. 
having a fairly decent gun. Just about. Mm. Having, pressing R changes targets, but apparently it doesn't change, choose targets behind you. Not so much, no. You should probably manoeuvre to a better area. Yeah. I, I, I figured just R would just toggle through all targets. You, you'd figure, but... You know, no. Claire's aware of the enemies, because if you face away and then press the R button, she'll turn around. Yeah, but like, it's a very kind of simple kind of combat mechanic. Auto-aim and then toggle. It's not like cycling from left to right or anything like that. Mm, well, that's like a third of the ammo gone already. Ah, oh, what a shame. Because... All you're really going to do is just shoot them at other things. Because it's, just, it's like sustained but relatively low damage, you're not going to use it against like really tough things. Right, yeah. Well, I might as well use up the ammo then. I think you can you can actually refill the ammo on it, like a bit. Oh. Not, not like the pistols you got way, way earlier. Got an important scene coming up. An important scene. I'm a bit quick to take that off that mask. We're safe now. Think again, Claire. Oh God. I shall enjoy watching you shriek in agony. Not this time. I'm loving this. <laughs> now, Kim, you remember what I said about that rifle? What was that? Take the wait, rifle. Wait, no. Take the rifle. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, don't don't do anything at all. Okay. Let me just catch up on the fucking stream. He's got an earring. Now to get out. Because he's angry. Oh, I heard a man trying to put on a woman's voice and he was doing a pretty good job. <laughs> uh, so don't take the rifle. Right, so what you want to do is you want to go back to that save room the save room. Just leave Steve there. Don't talk to Steve either. Yeah, I don't know. I can see you making chats, but no one else is, and I don't know if that's just everyone else's chat not working. Just a reminder, if you are trying to participate in this chat, you'd want to uh, refresh the pop-out chat fairly frequently. Because once you refresh it, you'll see everything you've missed, but yeah, it's just, it'll keep dying. Ring, ring. Right, so we can, you, you've gathered from the guy walking around who like un, un himself that you're having a boss fight soon, right? Yes. You can do this a few ways. Okay. Now, I want you to do it the super duper manly way. Okay. Right? Basically, put away everything you have except for your knife and like one foot heel, maybe like an herb extra. Like literally nothing else. Uh, 
toughness. I don't actually have a full heal, so I might as well just take a couple of herbs. Just just bring like enough healing you think you'll need. Also, and a knife. I put away my knife as well. <sighs> you should really, really bring that. I'm gonna trust you on this, cause you, you better also okay. save again. Oh yeah, boy. How long has this stream been going on for? Uh, I mean, one hour sixteen minutes for, since you like very first started. Okay. I think. I think that was like a ten minute break when I had to do things, but. I mean, if you want to like stop soonish, there's well, there's not much of this area left. Yeah, as far as like, I might stop for a bit. So, so now your heals. I am equipped as you have specified, and I'm going to trust you on this. Yeah, good. It's good. Because I know what boss fight's coming out, coming up. Well, it's the big guy. Mm -hmm. um, and he, I remember in Dark Side Chronicles at least, he was kind of a pain because you had to be pretty precise. You want a fun spoiler? Um, yeah, sure. Why not? It's the same in this. Oh shit. Now, I probably think you should have brought my healing, but you'll probably be alright. No, I probably should have topped top my health before I left, but oh well. Oh well, you saved, that's the important saved, bit. You yes, can just do I, it again. Yeah. And die horribly. So I just before I pick you that grab up, that rifle. Does Steve say anything? I wanna check. Go. Does, no, does he not? Don't talk to Steve. Are you sure? Don't talk to Steve. Don't talk to Steve. Oh, are you sure? I'm very sure. <laughs> okay. So if you talk to Steve, you just go without the rifle. What? <laughs> yeah, if you talk to Steve, that's it, next scene. Pick up the rifle, that's it, next scene. What? Claire! What are you doing? Let's go! Are you ready? I'm gonna bust through that wall. Go for it! It's just one of those points in the game where it'll fuck you over if you don't know what... Is what you get there. That seems pretty terrible, but okay. Wait, Steve, is this a good idea? <laughs> Just digging into a lake? It's fine. If you say so. I know, where would those spiders live once their home is flooded? Wait, where was that water coming from? Right. Wait, your walls aren't made of water? Well, I, 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 I thought they weren't, but... Claire! Maybe we can escape through there! Also, this is a really weird pre-rendered scene, but they're still using the in-game models. Come on, let's go! Like, they don't normally do that, they use like the super high quality yeah. models. They, they should be pretty cold right now as well, yeah, now that they're outside exposed to the elements in short sleeve yeah, shirts. Finally, we can get out of this insane place. Hurry up! Go, go, go! Oops, she's calmed down, Steve. Nothing in this helipad, I guess. Okay, let's go! Test your rifle. Oops, too late. On, oh, go. okay. What are you scared? Well, Steve, you go first. Can you say hi? It might be friendly. What could possibly go wrong? Are, they, are their voices supposed to cut out, or is that my Dreamcast? Uh, it's probably a Dreamcast. Because <laughs> there's no kind of just stopped. Hold on, I'll wait for that monster and come back. What? Claire, forget about me. Run! First I should get away from him because he's got long arms and... Mm -hmm. Oh god, what is this? Uh, no 
Arms just stuck in that raised position. It's frozen there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I failed you. You failed me when you knocked the thing into the poison gas tube, so compared to that, this is nothing. It's just a series of failures, really. I'll protect you next time, Claire. We did it! We're finally out! <laughs> You're still in the Antarctic. Look, there's a snowmobile over there! Driving from the Antarctic to Australia? Yep. I don't see any flaws with this plan. <laughs> but I think it's just an Australian base in the Antarctic. Oh, okay. That... This Claire. He's not doing the girl voice anymore.
He's having too much fun with the snowmobile. I should be dead. I could be said for a lot of things <laughs> in this game. I'd imagine she'd be getting pretty cold now. <laughs> that would be a good question for her to ask. Brother, did you really do like a girl voice the entire time? <laughs> In the meantime... Following up on a lead given to me by Leon has brought me here. Hmm. So Claire contacted Leon, who then contacted Chris somehow. <laughs> Climbing with his bare hands. Because he's not Chris Redfield. <laughs> well, I thought I was going to see like another montage of him going down and then pick it up and then going <laughs> back up again. <laughs> Hello, Ruka. Are you testing the chat to see if it works? Good morning, Claire. I'm coming to save you. Well, now we... <laughs> that was a pretty manly entrance for Chris, I gotta say. It's Chris Redfield. Chris fucking Redfield. That's okay, I can just punch the entrance open again if I need to come out again. Examine it. Okay. What do I have then? If he dropped a bag, well, that was all his like provisions and equipment and stuff. So all he has, has is what he has on his body. Ah, that's all right. It is all you need. <laughs> it's all I need. It's a knife and a gun, and a, and a first aid kit. That's it. So yeah. Now, now you're Chris. Oh hey. I didn't expect to find another living person left on this island. Who are you? I came here looking for a certain girl. A girl? Have you seen anyone named Claire Redfield? Did you just say... Claire? You know who she is, don't you? Don't worry about her. I helped her escape. Several planes took off from this island not long ago. While I can't say for certain, she was probably on one of them. I see. I guess my sister owes you. Hey, his mouth isn't moving. For oh no, it's just desynced, okay. Everyone's gone. I may be the only other person left. Go on. Follow your sister and get off this island. for the worst suddenly. I must save shame. him. Wait, uh, really? <laughs> I must save him? He was eaten. Uh, am I still hoping to salvage this? Well, why, why wouldn't you be able to? <laughs> You're Chris Redfield. Anyway, yeah, you now you've got like a, a box and a save point. Okay. Up here if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, I'm going to call it a night now. Um, but yes. I guess this is why you told me to put everything in the box. Yes, so Chris can I can have explain it. this to chat now too. Anything Claire had on her after that boss fight is now locked away forever. Anything she left in the box is free for Chris to use. 
So okay. if you had all your guns, if you had like the um, the M93R and the grenade launcher and the AK and all your healing, and you didn't use any of them in that fight because you got lucky with the sniper rifle, then you were fucked. <laughs> yeah. So you pick up bow gun arrow even though there's a highly ch likely chance you're carrying the bow gun with you and wouldn't have it anymore. Mm-hmm. What if you... I guess like... Because there's the emblem card and the empty fire extinguisher, I assume they're not, like, critical? No, they did not fix this. They... <laughs> Which is why when... Well, you know, this is back in the plane fight with the uh, Tyrant, I had to use like a game shark. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just fucked up. And you can easily fuck up here and have to do it again. Uh, what, what are you asking here? I have an orgy. Oh, like... the empty fire extinguisher and the yeah. card. Yes, you're not... going to need both. Are they critical you know, you know... to the game? Okay, that's all what, the that's things what I was that thinking. You, yeah, all the things that you could optionally do, like giving the um, lighter to Rodriguez, um, doing the picking up the fire extinguisher, which I think technically you could have picked up the fire extinguisher now as Chris, depending on where you leave it. Um, what else is there? There's the card. The card you would have had anyway. Yeah. Well, I just opened the thing, but I'll save that for next time. In the meantime, I'll just rotate Chris, who can turn around without moving his legs. <laughs>